Can we have a look inside this? Yeah, yeah, so we start with the heat pump. Just take this off. And really, it's so simple inside. Compared to what goes on inside a gas combustion boiler, the simplicity of this, when we actually break it down and look at what components we've got, is really simplistic. Just slide this case off, pop it down a bit. So you've just got a fan in there. Yeah, so we've got a fan, and this uses refrigeration technology. So it's using a refrigerant gas running through these tiny little copper tubes here. What gas are you using in there? So it's R32 is the gas we right, use. Right, okay. There is a very long and boring name for it, but I can't remember it. Yeah. But essentially, for, for real simple ways of how a heat pump works, this gas, R32, has a boiling point of minus 51 degrees centigrade. Right, okay. So even if it's minus 20 outside, yeah. you know, we've got a huge rise in temperature by drawing air across, the, across this gas, raising the temperature massively. And then what we're going to do is run that gas through our compressor. And that's going to squash the gas particles together and generate even more thermal energy. So this is just this is just a standard style heat pump. Yeah, it's that a little you've... different. So there's no it's a heat pump minus a pump. It doesn't actually have a pump in it. Right, okay. So you, so like so a monoblock that'd have a pump inside. Yeah, so a usual monoblock heat pump would tend to have a pump inside the heat pump yeah. itself. We're all using the modulated pump in our gas boiler.